Hi everyone. Today, I want to share with you my skincare routine and recommendations to improve the most important part of your looks, your face. Your face is undoubtedly the most important thing to focus on for improving your aesthetics, even more important than your body or your clothes, because it's the first thing that people notice about you and judge you for. I get unsolicited compliments all the time from women about how my skin looks and how it's the first thing that they notice about me. The products that I recommend will all have scientific backing and affiliate links are available below if you're interested in purchasing. So at a high level, every day I'm going to moisturize twice a day, once in the morning and once at night, with a third time in the middle of the day if I happen to go to the gym. There are four key things that you're going to need in your arsenal. That is a cleanser, a moisturizer, a sunscreen, and a retinoid. So for my AM routine, I'm going to start it off by using a cleanser. For my cleanser, I recommend the La Roche-Posay Evoclar Gel Cleanser because it contains salicylic acid. So salicylic acid has clinical evidence in being effective against acne because of its antibacterial properties and its ability to exfoliate away dead skin. Even if you don't have acne right now, these anti-acne cleansers are going to help you take that preventative step to just keep that stuff away. The next step after every cleansing session is to apply a moisturizer to your face. In the AM, I recommend the CeraVe AM Moisturizer because it has niacinamide, which has anti-aging properties, as well as hyaluronic acid, which is similarly anti-aging and helps with skin repair. Most importantly, I also like the CeraVe AM because it contains something that you'll definitely need every day, which is sunscreen. The truth is the sun's UV light is one of the biggest contributors of skin cancer, damage, and aging, and it's going to be present every day even when it looks cloudy outside. If the sun is extra strong that day or I'm going to be outside, I use a dedicated sunscreen and basically the strongest one I can find, which is the La Roche-Posay Antelios uh, SPF 100. This stuff is basically indestructible for your skin. While it's true that UV light interacts with your skin to produce vitamin D, it's just not worth it to get it from the sun in this way. You're not going to be outside for 30 minutes then suddenly decide, oh, okay, now I can put on sunscreen. It's just a much better strategy to get the vitamin D that you need through your food instead of potentially exposing your skin to harmful rays. So this is what my day routine looks like when I get up in the AM. As I mentioned, if I do go to the gym, I repeat this entire process, including reapplying sunscreen. For the PM, before I go to bed, I once again use an anti-acne cleanser as well as moisturize after. This time though, I use the CeraVe PM moisturizer as it's specially formulated for nighttime use. In addition, here's where I add a retinoid into my routine. Retinoids are a derivative of vitamin A and as a family are the single most powerful ingredient for anti-aging, anti-acne, and keeping your skin looking great. But the downside here is that retinoids are known for their potential irritation and redness in some people. So this might limit the ability for you to use them or it's why we prefer to use these at night. Because of the strength of retinoids, a lot of the most potent ones are by prescription only. So that's why for my over-the-counter recommendation, I really like the La Roche-Posay Adapalene Gel. Adapalene is the strongest non-prescription grade retinoid that you can get just easily on the market or on Amazon. Personally for me, I just go all in on using tretinoin, which is the most potent retinoid that you can get for topical use. You're gonna need a prescription for this, but if you look online, you can generally find it for about 20 to $40. Personally, I get my tretinoin through Curology, which is a slightly more premium service, but in return, they're able to customize your product for you. The formulation I use from them also contains clinomycin phosphate, which is another prescription antibiotic that helps additionally in fighting off acne. For me, I've really enjoyed my experience with Curology. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a referral link below as well. So that's my basic routine. But before I move on to the bonus recommendations, it'd mean a lot to me if you could like, comment, and subscribe on this video, especially as I'm starting out this new channel and looking to make more self-improvement videos. So now for my other recommendations on things to potentially add to your skincare routine. The first are going to be antioxidant serums. Serums are something you'll usually hear about in a lot of skincare routines, usually with antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E, which help bind up free radicals that cause damage to the skin and reduces inflammation and a chance of getting cancer in the long run. 
for my preferred antioxidant or serum, I actually use castor oil. Castor oil is one of the highest sources of fatty acids that help keep your skin moisturized as well as having antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. And specifically on the antioxidants, castor oil is really rich in vitamin E. In addition to the skin benefits, castor oil has a ton of other side benefits, such as being good for your scalp, hair, and eyebrows. I also use it as a lubricant for when I shave. You're also going to want to consider a vitamin C based serum to work in your routine here for the synergistic effects of the two antioxidants. Both of these I like working into my PM routine. So the next recommendation I have for you is collagen protein supplementation. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body and is in the skin and it's what's responsible for keeping it looking elastic, youthful, and healthy. It's also a major building block for your hair, skin, muscles, and joints. So supplementing with this is also going to help your hair and maybe fitness as well. So I personally like Vital Protein's Advanced Collagen Formula, not only because it has the collagen protein there, but also the vitamin C and hyaluronic acid that I previously mentioned was helpful for your skin. So my third recommendation is going to be NMN based products. NMN stands for nicotinamide mononucleotide and is actually related to the niacinamide that I already talked about before. So your body has a coenzyme called NAD+, which decreases as you get older and is responsible for a lot of critical bodily processes. Declines in NAD plus levels have actually been associated with a lot of age-related illnesses, including cognitive decline, cancer, and slower metabolisms. The thought is that niacinamide is able to restore your NAD plus pools, and so NMN, which is a precursor to NAD plus, is thought to be able to do a similar thing. NMN has also been talked about as a supplement to enhance gym and physical performance, although that's an entirely different topic. The two hesitancies with NMN right now is that there haven't been a lot of long-term studies that have looked at its safety and efficacy. On top of that, because it's relatively new, NMN is just incredibly expensive on the marketplace right now. I'm personally a big fan of this product from both the skincare and fitness perspective and haven't experienced any side effects on this stuff at all. If you are interested in this product, I currently get my NMN from Renew by Science, but as I mentioned, uh, the prices there are going to be pretty high. So the best and most controversial recommendation I definitely save for last, which is Accutane. Accutane or isotretinoin is the most powerful member of the family of retinoids that we talked about earlier. Accutane essentially permanently alters your skin chemistry and makes your pores produce less oil for the purpose of permanently curing acne. While you're taking it, which is a long-term course, you're going to experience side effects here. I personally took Accutane for about nine months, and during that time, my skin was permanently more sensitive and to the sun. Uh, my hair dried out, grew frizzy, and fell, and my lips were constantly chapped, and I had to constantly use eye drops. On top of that, Accutane's a pretty harsh drug on the liver, so you're going to have to go in for monthly blood work checkups uh, to make sure all your indicators there look good, and you're definitely not going to want to mix this stuff with other strong prescription drugs or alcohol. So with these guaranteed side effects, why would anyone take Accutane? As I mentioned, Accutane has the promise of permanently curing your acne, and at least for me, even after I finished with my course, I noticed that my skin got a permanently clearer complexion. Any acne that might appear is literally gone in a day, and I just find that overall, somehow my skin and face just repairs and rejuvenates way more quickly. From This is why I saved it as my controversial final bonus recommendation, and anyone considering should definitely do your research before and asking a dermatologist about it. And that's it for my recommendations. So in conclusion, it's important to cleanse and moisturize at least twice a day, once when you wake up, and once when you go to bed. When you cleanse, some sort of anti-aging, anti-acne cleanser is preferable, with a sunscreen in the AM and a retinoid in the PM. On top of that, supplementing with antioxidants, collagen, or NMN could also help benefit your skin more. And if treating intense acne is a goal of yours, then Accutane might be a consideration. And there it is, the only scientific skincare routine that you need.
I'm in the process of making more self-improvement videos, so definitely subscribe to stay in the loop and be on the lookout for more videos.